Take, go. This is Kimberly Wells. I'm speaking to you from the inside of the control room of the Ventana nuclear power plant. With me is Mr. Jack Goodell, who has taken control of this plant by force. The, the, see, that's the, the reactor water level. Well, in, in the water level, there is a pen, and the pen stops. This is a tactic for... I know it sounds ridiculous. That relay, that's like a 10 or a $12 item. <laughs> What happened? No! Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why? You idiot! You idiot! Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and Lights flashing, but I think... Please! We're losing picture. Lost picture. We've lost our picture from the Ventana nuclear plant. Mr. President, please. What? I'm not withholding anything. Wait, I'm not the we president. We didn't have power until this moment, so we just couldn't observe the condition of the reactor. How did you get this number? Evacuating every American could send a long message to the entire world. So, could you please reconsider? Hold on, I'm getting another call. Hello? Of course I know they're listening! Who is I this? Save the power. No. I won't do it. It isn't safe. Uh, I haven't reviewed. We only just found out we're... There, review it. I would like you to record your command. And you can... Raise the power. We did everything right. Something, something strange has happened. Do you taste metal? It means the core is open. It means the fire we're watching with our own eyes is giving off nearly twice the radiation released by the bomb in Hiroshima. And that's every single hour, hour after hour. 20 hours since the explosion, so 40 bombs worth by now. 48 more tomorrow, and it will not stop. Not in a week, not in a month. It will burn and spread its poison until the entire continent is dead. Do you think Gorbachev is going to be mad at us? The Soviet leader's first public comment on Chernobyl let off the nationally broadcast evening news. The accident, he told his countrymen, has now claimed nine lives and injured 299 others. Gorbachev thanked his socialist bloc allies for their solidarity in the face of the crisis. I just did my best. Finally, he said, the message from Chernobyl is clear. This is one more tolling of the bell and a new terrible warning that in the nuclear age, what is needed is new political thinking and new policies. A nuclear reactor run by undergraduate students at a liberal arts college sounds like an interesting idea.